What's up, YouTube? It's Chris Glides and Low Rise, and welcome to episode four. Today we're at uh, Chesapeake's Landing, and uh, we're gonna go in and have some all you can eat Maryland blue crabs. We just had a nice ride out, and uh, stay tuned and enjoy some of the fun with us. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Chris and Chris Glides and Low Rise. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris from Chris Glides and Low Rise. So I'm starting my Saturday morning. I'm riding up Route 50 East and it's a nice fall day. The temperatures at this point at about 9.45 in the morning is just a little bit above 50, heading up towards a 70 degree day. And as you can see on the left and the right, there's a lot of different rivers and things like that that lead out to the Chesapeake Bay. We are about to meet up at um, the Wawa just right before you cross the bridge. Um, it's at exit 29 right off of 50 East and it's a good place for riders to meet. It's a good place to get gas and to uh, make sure everybody's there and to just keep going. So I make it to the meetup spot. We have a 10 o'clock departure and I can see that guys are ready to go. It's about 10.03. And so I'm just gonna circle the parking lot so I can get in formation. And also, I wanna capture the group just before we start our ride. So we finally make it to the bridge and uh, traffic is a little slow. And so there's a little bit of time to uh, check out the uh, ocean views from the left and the right. When you're riding and you are at regular speed, you wanna make sure you keep your eyes and head forward because where you look, the where the bike tends to lean or towards the go. Um, the wind speeds right now are pretty comfortable and it's not blowing the bike all around. But when you cross bridges like this, you can, you know, come across very strong wind speeds. And so that's just something to remember. You wanna certainly remember to have plenty of gas before approaching a bridge like this, whether you're in a car or on a bike or anything, because as you can see, there's nowhere to pull over if you had to pull over, so. But um, the best thing to do is just not to panic, not to have anxiety and just enjoy the ride. So as we ride on this fall day, you can see like a lot of the leaves changing colors and things like that. You can see a lot of the fields, you know, changing their colors. The trees are changing from green to orange and red. The various tints that you see when you ride in the fall. On this side of the Eastern Shore, you can see a lot of the agricultural industries and the farms on the left and the right. And a lot of the slower paced living. It's an excellent place to uh, take your motorcycle and on a fun ride. There's a lot of different small family-owned restaurants on the side of the bridge and a lot of hangout spots, and a lot of adventures and things that you can find when you take a ride on this side. Thank you. 
finally make it through like a small town area and um, as we cruise past you can see a lot of people and families that are just stopping and enjoying some of the local restaurants and things like that. Um, it's a good place to come back to and to uh, actually drive and get out and park and walk with uh, your family and friends. There was a lot of historic uh, churches that we passed and um, just a lot of uh, wineries and different things and sights to see. We finally make it to our destination, which was Chesapeake Landing. We were going there to meet up with uh, fellow hog members and to eat all you can eat Maryland blue crabs. Um, on the menu that day, the blue crabs were all you can eat for about $38 and uh, we had a good time. Come on in with us and check it out. here at Chesapeake Landing Seafood and Carry Out and uh, we're about to have a good time. Come on in with us. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, man, let's see. I'm trying to get the bar, but it's on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Hey y'all. Hey everybody. Hey you guys. Did you guys enjoy the ride up? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you guys enjoy the ride? It was all right. It was good. It was all right. Yeah, it is. I gotta get it. I gotta get it too. Oh, Marcus here. Hey, you guys. Did y'all enjoy the ride up? All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. It's about to go down. Uh, got all the crabs at the table. <laughs> so everybody's starting to eat, and uh, this is all the members from uh, the uh, Harley Davidson's owner group. We have various um, hog chapters here, and. Um, I see a guy with a uh, old glory chapter from Laurel and a few other a few other locations. So anyway, it's about time I get down to these crabs.
So as you can see, we had a good time eating and uh, socializing and telling stories and just having fun trying to see who can eat the most crabs. I'm not a good crab eater. Um, it's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. Um, but anyway, um, back on the bikes again and just heading back. Same route throughout the town that we uh, rode in on. And um, slow route, but um, nonetheless enjoyable. Just checking out the scenery, the old style houses. Just a slower pace. So, get there and see what else is going on since I'm having such a good time on the bike. So while I'm waiting for my bike to get its oil changed, I go inside, see what new bikes are in. Um, I saw that they had the 2022 with the uh, the different orange and black colors um, in it. Um, I think it's here on the right. Um, yeah, right there. And um, I like it, it's pretty cool, but I think that you could just pretty much buy a Road Glide Special and put the same decals or something on it. Um, it's a lot of rave over it, but like I said, it's just all right. Um, there's the uh, Lowrider ST, and um, they've done some upgrades to it. I guess they put a seat on there and some other parts. Um, and 
and then there's some more lowrider collection throughout the showroom. Um, as I take it outside, there's a uh, Rogue Glide ST. I like the addition that they did to the bars and the seat, and they added a lot of extras on it, but it did drive the price up a little bit. A few other people are here for, um, I guess, their customer appreciation day. And um, they had grilled some hamburgers and hot dogs, and they had some uh, cold waters out there for people. There's the 2020 uh, live wire that's used for sale. And um, that's a pretty fun bike to ride. All right, YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode of Chris Glass and Low Rides. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. me what do I use to clean my bike I use this Meguiar's uh, car wash and they have a car wash and a, also a wax spray that doesn't leave any residue and um, I actually like the wash because um, it leaves a, a wax buildup within it as you um, wash the bike and um, this is the finished result it is a clean product the bugs come off nice and easy I can just continue to spray and wax as I um, wash every so often. And it just leaves a show quality finish to your bike or your car. I use it on everything.